Yeah, shout out Mojav, Mojave, Mojave. I'm sorry. I'm my bad, bro. My bad. Shout, shout y'all out. Let me make myself small. Actually, I don't really need to. I could just keep myself big. Unless y'all desperately want to see the cover art that bad, which I think is kind of, eh. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. It's a little eh, to be honest, but it is what it is. Nah, full screen? All right, fuck it. We'll go full screen. We'll go full screen with it. Okay. New Lil Yachty. It's called Let's Start Here. This says alternative. Okay, I heard a lot of people talking about this Yachty project, telling me, you know what I'm saying, it was it was the greatest they heard. I actually believe that Yachty progressively has been getting better, but I thought he'd likely get better just making, you know what I'm saying, more hip hop and kind of exploring different lanes of it, which is fine. Um, yeah, I'm ready for him to take a uh, next stage if that's what this is going to be. I haven't heard anything negative about it. I've heard nothing but positive things. Um, some crazy shit as well. Some people saying it's his Tempipa Butterfly and My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy and shit like that. So we're going to see if it lives up to the hype. And uh, let, 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 let's just jump right Hunt in. Streets require new songs. I'm listening to vid expeditiously. February. It's coming in February. <clears throat> All right. The first track is called. Mm. It's going down in here. I'm with the money team. The Black Somalian. My bad, I fucked it up. My bad. I'm, I was. It was a joke. I was, it was. It was a prank. All right, first track. All right. Y'all saying he produced this too? With help from who? Not all on his own. No way. Okay. Still impressive from what I'm hearing. Still impressive. That's not Yachty, bro. I refuse to believe that. It's not? Okay. No, that got it. That got it. That's getting at it. That's getting at it. Bro, this is what I mean when I say songs need... A climax. That was great. That was awesome. That was a great first Yachty track. You know, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a little shocked. Not that you know this is good because I've been expecting something good from Yachty for a little bit now. Because it seems like he broke out of that meme rapper stage that a lot of people from his era kind of you know struggled to kind of break through especially with him having some mediocre releases in the beginning. But over time, he started to become real, real consistent. He did. And I did not think that this was going to be one of his, you know, final destinations. And I'm sure he's got more to go from here, but this is a good first step into whatever this is going to be, you know what I'm saying, long term. I think um, I definitely want someone of his ilk, to kind of go like the Jimmy H the Jimi Hendrix kind of lane. I, w I would love for him o on this album to just kind of be like way more vocally expressive. Um, we definitely got some psychedelic shit in here. And I like that. Oh, fuck. What was that? It was like a transition. It was a transition. I forget where it was. God damn it. I might have to go back and listen to it again. I also need to do this again with headphones because this is going to sound beautiful 
in the whip and on and on some headphones, bro. Hold on, let me see. This right here. This transition, that transition right there is beautiful. That is fantastic. I'm I'm a huge fan of that. I'm a huge fan of that, bro. Mmm. Okay. We looking good right now. We looking good right now. We looking good right now. That was a great first track. And Fouché at the end was great too. Who would have been better? I can't really think of nobody. That was good. Next track is The Ride. Also, some people complaining about his vocals. Um, I don't really think they're a problem like that right now. I don't think like they're poorly mixed or anything. I mean, sure, they're not like the greatest, but I don't think that they're like, they're, they're, it's not egregious enough to take me out of the vibe of the album. Like it's, or so far, I'm only one track in, so maybe I should listen more. <clears throat> Hold on, why this sound like some 3-6? This sound like some shit that they would... Why didn't he get... Yo, Juicy J would have been such a good feature for this. Fuck me. Why didn't he... You, it's okay. that doesn't work, it's unemployed. Oh, no, nah, that's it just crazy. Bring noise. It just bring noise. It just that's bring crazy. Noise. It just bring noise. I like it. it. Bring... That's fire. I like that. No questions on the That's why I need you here. Just by my side. I like that right there. I like that. Watch it, girl. Don't ever tell me lies. What you mean, never know. Small you will see. Vocals kind of taking me out of this one a little bit. If I told you out of my secret Okay, decent track. Um, vocally, I think you know he kind of drowned out. I, I want to say it, either that was Fouché again or Justine Sky. I'm assuming that's Justine Sky. I want to say that I could hear her a little bit, but it's just like his vocals were so overpowering, in my opinion, from hers. So like they should have just separated and just had different verses on that one. There's a little dead space on the track, too. And I like the funky beat, the funky vibe and shit like that. That's nice. But I just, I don't really think he did much with it. And that was a four and a half minute song. That's a four and a half minute song, bro. That's a lot. Um, Just a little, fill it up. Fill it up a little bit more. Um, And the, the vocal effects, you know, for a track like that, it's already really bright. You know, it's kind of got like this golden hour feel to it. You driving, you know what I'm saying? Uh, with the with the trop, With the top drop. It's a sunny day and shit like that. Like, that's that type of vibe. So to have the effects on your voice is kind of like, it, it, it takes me out a little bit. It's not bad, though. It's not bad by any means. And I think it was a decent a decent uh, instrumental. But she, he definitely drowned her out with the vocals, I think. Um, Pretty is the next track. See what we talking about. This pussy open. Hold on, let me, let me hear that again. She just gave me instructions. Come bust this pussy open. Okay. <laughs> They doing that walk shit with his voice again. Hold on, let me go back. I like that. This is only two minutes. This is probably gonna be great. The so song's called Pretty. This is fire. It's fire. I'm 
most important moments in life aren't when you're born and when you die. Wait, I wasn't ready. Nah, pretty is a tune. That's a nice tune. That's a really nice tune. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. That's just a great track. Could have done without the little spoken word at the end. Could have just a little bit, but that was a great track. That was. That was great. I've seen, um, well, I've seen failure a few times. Quote unquote, rich and famous. I say, and I realize that, you know, some people can't feel what they haven't seen. Okay, say, say if I lost a finger, I'm like, well, I still have nine. Kind of like, well, it could be worse. Oh, well. Mm. Um, great musical backdrop. I'm going to try to give him the benefit of the doubt for what he was trying to cook up. Let me just reread his lyrics real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know how much we're when you become quote unquote rich. I say quote unquote because, you know, one man's rich to the next could be a step from priority. It's hard explaining that to someone narrow minded. In a world with two eyes shut, you know, I realize that, you know, you can't be with everything. Okay, so I'm going to try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Yes, he was chatting. He was chatting. But I think, I think. What he was trying to say was, I'm in a position of privilege. So for me, the thought process is for me to think that things could be worse. You feel what I'm saying? That's what it felt like he was saying. I don't think he was saying that to the average person. You feel what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. That's the benefit of the doubt that I'm going to give him. You know what I mean? So if we to go with that narrative and we looking at somebody who recognizes a position of privilege and shit like that then cool you know what i'm saying it's nothing that can really phase me nothing that can really take me out of my vibe into my element i'm doing my thing that's what i think he meant i could be completely wrong but i hope i hope that's what he meant um i love the musical backdrop to that track though it was great it was great and sometimes i'll listen to my friend chat like that and then just not be listening for real but it's okay you know what i'm saying we all got those moments where we just be like spitting and we think we going crazy and if somebody were to record you and then play it back, you'd be like, what the fuck am I talking about? You, you, you know, sometime it happened like that. It's cool, though. That's what I think he meant, though. Next track is The Zone. Kid Cudi do this with a speeding bullet. What the fuck was wrong with that nigga, bro? He had all the fucking tools and like all the shit to. He could have done this exact. I'm so I'm mad. I, I Who is this? Who is this? Is that Fouché again? Nah, really? That who is this? This is Justine Sky? Nah. Diana Gordon, okay. Y'all are not consistent at all. Oh, oh, chill. Once again, I'm not ready. The zone feels kind of empty only from a personality point of view because it don't feel like Yachty's giving a crazy amount to the track. But like I said, the live instrumentation, like the musicality of this shit, it's great. It really is great. I just wish his personality personality kind of shined through this a little bit more, you know, because he's definitely taking a back seat to the music here which is not always a bad thing i can appreciate the the, the the you know the music when it's great i can appreciate the music when it's great but you know i just want him to peer in a little bit more i want him to take this and make it like what do you call that 
like like make it so that people can't you know what i'm saying replicate this because i'm thinking of a lot of people that would do this i'm thinking of like a blood orange i'm thinking of you know uh a kid cuddy when you know it when it when it felt like i believed in him a little bit more um low key this honestly is it, it seemed like from the single that i heard from asap rocky it seems that this might be a similar direction that asap rocky might be going in with his next project even though we all love him for the psychedelic hip hop shit, he might be going in a similar style in a similar vein. Uh, Eve's tumor, yeah, you're right. That's not that's not that's not too far out of the way. But this is this is nice though. It, it really is. It's definitely nice. We saw the sun is the next track. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Man. Also, don't tell me. Does anyone know who does the guitar? Like, is there going to be a guitar climax on any of these tracks? I just want I just want to hear Andrew Watt again. That's all I want to hear. I want I want Yachty and Andrew Watt on the same track. That's what I want. <clears throat> what the fuck? I never asked for that. I didn't pause it. How are there 40 more seconds? What are you going to do? Your imagination um, run wild. That's what I was doing. Let your heart be your guide. That's what I was doing. I couldn't have done a painting in dead. that time, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Wings. Just working on a picture, drawing it Why did he say that? Okay. Let's see. That shit sound funky as fuck. Okay, I'm not going to pause. I'm going to go back so we can play this transition. Before it ends, Bob Ross is a fucking liar, number one. Okay, number two, I was in love with Bob Ross, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. He made me feel like I could do anything for real. And that's on God. He was like my really far away oldest white uncle. That's how I felt. You know what I'm saying? It could have been possible. You never know. I might go back in the lineage and see, you know what I'm saying, if anything happened. But that was a cool track. Once again, it feels like Yachty's being a little swallowed up in the production. It really does feel like a trip simulator. I don't know if y'all ever been to a science center when you were a kid and you'd sit down in the little dome theater or whatever and you'd see all this shit pop up on the dome and you know what I'm saying all around you. It feels kind of like that. It don't feel like a, a a deep, you know what I'm saying, like connection to that style, but it does feel like an emulator. And I I, I like what he's doing. What did I do? Um, I just I, I just wish he broke out of it just a little bit more. That's how he did. No, nah, I know he didn't. He did the listening party in a sun. No, he didn't. Are you serious? Can you send me a video? Or did they take video? That was literally the listening party. They took video? It's on YouTube? Hold on, let me see. Well, on God, if I knew that, I wouldn't have even said it. I swear. I swear. But... Um, I was, <laughs> I was about to take my nephew to a science center this, uh, this next week. Cause I wanted him to see, uh, like space and dinos and shit like that in an aquarium, but it's going to be too far, but that's why that was on my mind. Hold on a little Yachty. There is no way that's beautiful. Lil Yachty really a kid at heart. And I love that. Oh, what is this it? Cause it's like a. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're watching some shit, so. I don't care if you. She literally put her glass on. Wait, is this it? The fuck. I don't care if you record when this shit come out in a couple minutes. I just don't. Let me see, let me see. I ain't gonna listen to the whole thing or watch the whole thing. Music is like. Bro, that's so dope. This is the litter. This is the legitimate shit that I was picturing. Just sitting in the dome theater. This is all I was thinking about. Fire. I ain't gonna play the, I, I, cause I don't wanna spoil the rest of it, but that's fire. Damn, he really a kid. I like that. That's so cute, man. That's do, that's adorable. 
I don't mean it like in a in a condescending way. I mean like it 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 takes me back. I only been to a science center a few times in my life, but when I went, I had so much fun. That's so nice. Um, what song were we on? We saw the sun. Let's let's play the rest of that. Into this transition. Blocks. And here. Don't just anybody. Well aware you are always mine. I kind of like it. I a piece of you. It might be my speakers, but I don't know if the mixing is great on this. It might just be my speakers right now. I ain't gonna lie. It could just be me. It's a late night, you know I'll try. I can picture when you ride. I'm mistaken, thinking you were taking knowing that. Alright. <clears throat> Drive Me Crazy is the song name. Really ever missing talk is cheap and time is ticking. Really ever tricking before five my hip like I'm limping, never simping. Yeah, I like when he slows it down because he could really be the highlight. It kind of it kind of it kind of dives back into that psychedelic effect without being too climactic. Because I think when the music speaks too loudly, and I don't mean it's mixed poorly, but when the music is is like making a big statement for a track, Yachty comes in and he can be underwhelming based off of either his vocal performances or just whatever he has to say. So with stuff like this, where the music isn't taking up majority of like the speaking, if that makes sense. I think he shines a lot in these type of moments when it's slow, it's laid back, not too much vocal effects on his voice. You know, I feel I feel this is like definitely his lane a little bit more, but he just got to come through with more personality on the more climactic tracks. That's all. This is great, though. I like Always this one. Play, my house, never trip. All right, we about to get into the track that y'all have been spamming the entire listen is I've officially lost vision is the next track that we're about to listen to. That was a good cut, but yeah, I definitely think the slower vibe is his lane. Let's see what he's talking about. Y'all love this one apparently, so let's see. He getting shot? What the fuck? I'm gonna definitely need to re listen to this with headphones. This might be the best one, I ain't gonna lie. This might be the best one. Wow. I'm impressed. Okay. See, y'all are saying watch the video later, but... Wait, what the fuck? Who is that? Hold on, we, we can watch the video, it's okay. Don't watch the vid. Okay, now you're saying don't watch the vid. What the fuck? It's okay. We won't watch the vid then. Fuck it. That was a great track. That was probably the, the culmination of everything that I feel like Yachty could have, like, fused with, like, the psych rock influence and it being all over this album. That was definitely the, the best of everything that I've heard so far. Like, the buildup the the intro the the feature the singing the breaking up the monotony it, it's great it really is it's great i wasn't bored a single moment in that entire cut and it was five minutes i'm not gonna do the video like y'all 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 are tripping for no reason um that was great it really was and i'm impressed like the vision I guess that's what that's what's kept me on the Yachty train, even when I didn't like him in the beginning. It seemed like as the years progressed, he just had vision. He did. He had that vision. And I don't that's, a, that's like it's not something a lot of people in his class had. 
I'm just excited to see where he take it next. But that was the best of all the influences, the the Tame Impala, the the Pink Floyd, the, you know, slight uh, even Beatles kind of inspiration that I felt throughout some of this tape. That was the best I think he's had to offer so far. That was great. That was awesome. That was awesome. Definitely feeling like an 80s pop vibe from this. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. Honestly, this would be a nice movie soundtrack. To Hold on, hold on, gang. That was great. The end, that that the end is where I was like, yo, his his personality is kind of peering in. I, I like that. Like I actually felt like this was a Yachty cut, like Yachty's take on the '80s. I like that. Why do I gotta look at the vid now? <sighs> Y'all are so annoying. Wait, I don't even I don't even have the vid open. Hold on. Wait, I closed my other shit. That's fucked up. Now you still seeing don't watch the vid. Now after the album, bro. You so fucking You want me to watch the vid cuz the girl is fine? Is that seriously all you want me to watch the video for? Bro, it's never that it's never that deep. It's never that deep. Paint the sky is the next track. I love to say something honestly. Actually, now the more that I think about it, Damn, I wish he took the end of that and did some more with it. Damn it. I actually felt his personality on the end of that. Fuck. Still not bad, though. I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked that this is what he's capable of. It's just refreshing. It's refreshing. You got to take yourself out of the mode of like, okay, yeah, it could be a little bit better. It could, be, it could make a stronger statement. But it's so refreshing. It's so refreshing, especially hearing it coming from Yachty. Especially, we haven't done the fit rate yet. We haven't done, the fit rate is coming in about 20 minutes probably. But this is great, to be honest. It's good for him. So surreal. Okay, <clears throat> a couple of y'all are saying some stupid shit to me because there is nothing that he's going to do different with his voice, to be honest with you, gang. Like, this is this is just his voice. Like, it is what it is. Um, you can either be to a point where you're like, you know what, I can't listen to this because Yachty's voice just isn't for me. To say he's singing bad or poorly on this track or he's doing something like so egregious with his voice, I just think that's wrong. Either his voice is for you or it isn't. And I think this track, I, uh, for me, his voice works. Which is, you know, like I said, y'all know how notoriously against Yachty I've been in the past. When his voice works well, it, it works well. Even if it's not the greatest singing voice, I don't think his voice is bad for this track. You have to differentiate when a voice is bad versus when, you know what I'm saying, it's useful for a cut. And I just think it was useful here. I don't mean he's a great singer. I don't mean he's a great vocalist or anything like that. But it's just not for you and i usually don't like to use that excuse of 
oh, uh, it's subjective. But it truly, in this sense, is because I don't think he's doing anything objectively wrong here. Only thing I think he fucked up with on this cut is making it three minutes. Paint the sky. It could have easily been an interlude. Way too long. But outside of that, I don't mind this cut. I listen to it again, but it's too long. That's all. Um, the next track is Should I Be? And someone else, hold on. Someone else said something too. And this is why I don't want, I hate, I hate when, I hate when artists feel like they have to abandon rap music to be taken seriously as, as artists. You don't. I saw someone say uh, a few minutes ago um, that Yachty was in his Igor bag and that every artist eventually or every rapper eventually has to go through this phase until they become an artist. But rappers are artists, too. There's nothing wrong with being a rapper and still also being called an artist. That's what you are. But making it seem like you have to abandon the genre that you came in with to go somewhere else to be taken seriously as like a musician or an artist I just think that's a that's short sighted. That's a bad way to look at it. I think anytime someone's putting in effort, you're always going to cultivate a fan base or an audience that's going to gravitate to what you're doing. And even if people don't like what you're doing, you're still going to be able to be like, OK, I'm still going to be able to recognize when you're putting in effort. That's the that's the difference. That's what makes an artist. You could be a good artist, a bad artist, but people recognize when you put in effort. OK, so you don't have to abandon rap music to be taken seriously or you shouldn't have to. But I still like what he's doing here. I just hope he didn't feel like, oh, people aren't going to take me seriously as a musician unless I go this route. You know what I mean? But he sounds good here. I, I like this vibe on him. Uh, Should I Be is the next track. Y'all say it about every cut. I'm not a fan of this track at all. Oh, we're going to go to uh, Alchemist and I'll tell you why. That's fire. That's fire. like the last track might go crazy um basically the reason i didn't like should i be is because it's just too long and nothing really happens with the track bro it just goes on forever too repetitive uh, monotony just kills this track for me um the alchemist was a pretty good cut the the formula that i've noticed with yadi is you know he goes and he takes his uh his chances or whatever and he brings in the female vocalist normally and they kind of steal the show and then there's a transition where the you know female vocalist basically uh, gets isolated on the track, you know, and that isn't. It seems like a comfortable little uh, lane that he's created for himself with this album. Those seem to be some of my favorite moments is when he does that. Um, I'm interested to see if he's going to take it, you know, in a different direction um, and sing like with no effects himself. It would be interesting to see, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that it will be good, but it would be interesting to hear. Um, outside of that, I mean, this has been pretty, I would say, honestly, this is probably my favorite Yachty album. That don't mean it's a, you know, perfect record. That don't mean it's, it's, it's you know, uh, revolutionary, but it's definitely the one that I, I can look at and say, like, yo, this looked like he put the most effort into this one, or at least... The most of his creativity went here, even if it is, you know, greatly inspired from generations before him in the psych rock field. It's OK. It really is OK. Reach the Sun track or you reach the sunshine is the last track. Who is it? 
this? Oh, it's Daniel Caesar. Okay. That makes sense. Feel my touch. Hold on. Speak with your mind to reach the sunshine. Come on, you gotta do something with this for the next part. Come on. It seemed like you changed the strings a little bit or added some. Is that still Daniel? At first I didn't believe it. Yeah, yeah it is. It is. Why shouldn't I? This sounds great. He sounded like Frank for a second there, but I knew it couldn't have been. I'm back. I don't look, I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas gonna stop calling Daniel Caesar colorist because he never said nothing that was colorist. Y'all gonna stop talking about this nigga gap in my presence. Y'all gonna stop saying this nigga's a monkey. I just I literally just saw that shit. Y'all gonna stop disrespecting this nigga as if he don't make the greatest some of the greatest music, bro. He just does. I don't give a fuck what you say. I don't care what you say, gang. He's still serenading your bitch. Monkey is crazy. Like, relax. He's still going to pull through with vocals that are still anyone. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm a Daniel Caesar fan. I'm a Daniel Caesar apologist. You can't get away with that in my presence. You're getting banned. Okay? Never again. He did nothing wrong. Was he wrong? Yes, he was wrong. But we know that. Move on. You know what I'm saying? You're going to listen to the next album? Maybe. Are you? I will. What's wrong with you? He's making this track. Shut up. Let me go back. He admitted he says he, he said he's a bad man. I'm a bad man. <laughs> Bro, that part? I'm sorry, just play it one more time. Look on the dance for the scheming. So we got it. I'm sorry, I don't care. I'm a bad man. Niggas are telling me my 30 or 20% is showing me while y'all in the chat calling him a fucking monkey because he said something you didn't like three years ago. Suck my dick, bitch. <laughs> Gatman is kind of crazy though, I ain't gonna lie. Gatman is funny as well. Come on, man, do more. You got what? You got almost two minutes left. You gotta wow me. You imagine just out of nowhere Travis Scott just starts I would fucking kill my bro I would I would end I would end the entire stream if that was just a bad thing to think about just randomly just at the end just for no reason like he's cutting off the timer right here but it's still an extra like minute and a half and Travis start just start spitting for no fucking reason I would be so mad anyway this is pretty entertaining I don't want to say if it's good or bad you know let's start here it's definitely not bad I'm it's definitely not bad um but this is very entertaining especially coming from Lil Yachty um I like pretty much everything that's happening here the biggest problem with this is that Yachty takes a back seat noticeably whenever there is a feature it's just the facts whenever Fouché or or Justine Skye or the other singer that you mentioned is on the cut it just seems that they can sometimes outshine him, but he still provides something to the cut, usually. He still provides, you know, a good a good deal to the tracks normally. Um, I just wish, you know what I'm saying, he went kind of like the bit more of the King Gizzard uh, a bit more of the King Gizzard approach. Um, maybe a bit more of the Jimi Hendrix approach with it with personality wise. Maybe even um Rick James, you know what I'm saying? Like this would have been the cut for Yachty to really show people like who he is. And I don't mean he has to go make personal tracks or anything like that, but he really has to like put his personality in and, and show like how eccentric because this is music where you like you can be as eccentric as you want to be. You can be as explosive and as uh as, as like 
you can really just put your whole face in this shit and i feel like he held back a lot obviously i understand why this is kind of new territory for him i don't expect him to perfect it the first time around um musically i think he made a lot of wise decisions um some of them were hit or miss you know with some tracks being a bit more monotonous but for the most part musically i think he took it in almost the perfect direction or in as best of a direction that he could there's still a lot of tame and Paula influence on here there's still a little bit of like radiohead influence here i hear a little bit of pink floyd every now and again but it's not egregious or distracting to a point where i can't still enjoy this you know what i'm saying i feel like it's gonna be a selection of people that's gonna like this and then people who do like it are probably gonna be called like oh you don't listen to real you know uh psych rock or or, or prog rock or anything like that because if you like this um there's no way you could have heard these other ones but it's it's refreshing you know what i'm saying it don't have to be the most creative thing in the world right now it's refreshing that he's trying it it, it, it he might not have perfect uh, perfected it but it, it's just nice hearing it from him you know what i'm saying who would have thought in 2017 after you heard teenage emotions you'd be hearing a, a psych rock album from yachty in, in in just six years later nobody would have been able to tell me that so i'm not saying that trying something new immediately you know what i'm saying uh necessitates that you get a bunch of praise but it should just be noted hey he tried something and we've been talking about this for a long time get out of your comfort zone he's trying it and he does he did it majority of the time i think he does it well and for those saying that he's singing terribly, I just don't agree. I don't. I just don't agree. I'm not giving it a rating. I don't I do not do ratings for albums anymore, but it was definitely enjoyable. And I think I'm going to enjoy the songs that I liked slash loved a lot on this. I'm going to enjoy those way more after I put them on um, my better speakers and uh, put them in my, uh, headphones. Because this could take you somewhere. I'm real. I'm. I think the cutest thing about this album, again, no condescension. The cutest thing about this album is is realizing that while I'm listening to some of these tracks, I'm imagining myself in a science center, and that is exactly where he decided to do the listening party for this album. I just love that. That's super endearing to me. I don't know why. I just feel a, a way bigger connection to the album just off that. That's fucking awesome. But I got what one? Oh shit! I fucked up. I got one. Can you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tracks out of 14 that I'm definitely going to go back to? I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking with that. Give it a couple more listens, but I like what I heard. I did. I like what I heard. Pretty and Good Times are my favorites. I'm a, I mean, my favorite definitely is the intro cut. I've officially lost vision. Reach the Sunshine is extremely disappointing because it could have been so much more. You got Daniel Caesar going absolutely fucking bonkers. I've never said bonkers before in my life. First time for everything. Daniel Caesar's going absolutely bonkers. You know what I'm saying? Um, on this cut. And then they just, they halt the the ultimate climax that this track could have been. Between both of them, low key. Because Yachty did good on that track too. Pretty good. What else was my favorite? I like The Alchemist. Um, I like Paint the Sky. No, no, no. I like Say Something. But the end of Say Something was was what i liked more and i still like paint the sky too um the zone was cool failure was a nice little spoken word thing i thought it was i thought that was kind of adorable um if i got what he was saying the right way pretty was nice um and i just wasn't the biggest fan of running out of time because that was just too long of a cut but i mean this is good bro i i i, I can't lie this is just nice it's just nice bro did I like the ride? Let me see. I don't think I downloaded it. I don't think I downloaded it. I'm, I'm going to need to listen to that one a few more times. It's definitely giving me Steve Lacey. So, like, I like it, but eh, it's, it's hit or miss for me.